Hey everybody, welcome to Lacey's Place. Today I thought I would show you around at my different aquariums and we could do an update on some of my fish. Uh, it's been a little while since you've seen a few of my tanks and I thought maybe it was time to give y'all an update on them and let you see the new plant growth and how the fish are doing. So come on, let's turn the camera around and take a look at some of my tanks. And of course, you all know this aquarium's doing very well. It's all my baby wild caught fish and my mosquito fish and all my wild caught plants. Now on this particular aquarium, the wood and the rocks were purchased from a store and so was the sand. So this is not a biotope, it is a biotope recreation because only part of it is wild caught and it is recreating a natural environment. It's not the rocks and sand and wood that I would have gotten from the environment in which I caught these fish from. But the plants are doing extremely well in this one. The fish are doing very well. And overall, it seems to be the perfect little setup. I got mosquito fish having babies and the babies of the mosquito fish are feeding my wild predator fish and my wild baby predator fish are able to eat and grow up and thrive. So it is a little mini cycle within itself. And I've gotten the fish just about swapped over to flake food and little pellets. Uh, sometimes they'll eat and sometimes they won't. But yeah, let's go check out another aquarium. Alright y'all, this one is my natural biotope. I collected everything that you see in this aquarium from a local water hole. The sunfish, now I've had them for several months. And as you know, since you follow my channel, and if you're new to this channel, these are the sunfish that I had with Boss Man. And he ate one of them, so I had to move them out. But I caught these months and months ago. And I had a bunch of baby fish in here, baby sunfish. Well, I moved them to the last aquarium you just saw in with my other babies and put these guys back in here. But the big rock, the little rock, and the plants, all the plants, there are three different kinds of plants in this aquarium. Every single bit of it was collected from the same uh, location. There are mosquito fish, and there are some other kind of weird fish, that little minnow dude right there. As well as snails that was all collected from the same location, wild caught. But this aquarium is doing really well also. I have new growth on the plants. The fish are doing good. Unfortunately, Mr. Wiggles and his buddies eat all the shrimp. There's Mr. Wiggles. He's looking at me. Now I've noticed that two of these fish have a very beautiful face. It's just a neon bluish green color and they got little speckles down their body and the other two do not. So I'm very curious. Ooh, and that one's got blue eyes. And this one has red eyes. I'm very curious as if I've got different fish or if I have two pairs, two males and two females. I guess when they get a little older, I'll be able to tell. 
But these two right here have beautiful markings on them. And the other two are a little more plain, but they have blue eyes. Let's go check on another aquarium. Everybody seems to be doing good in my Lake Malawi cichlid tank. General Leah spit out her eggs, so she's no longer holding. And as of now, I don't have any current females that are holding. But I do have a bunch of gorgeous fish in here that are displaying some beautiful colors. See, my bumblebee has got a beautiful blue fin. My erotus is still real blue-black. He's looking good. My yellow dude back there has got a really beautiful black stripe to his fin. Yeah, General Leah is doing good. Everybody's got beautiful color. But still no babies. And so far they seem to like the plants. They broke up a few of them and uprooted a couple others but for the most part these plants are looking good well let's go see how another tank's doing this is my other 60 gallon marine land aquarium and I just cleaned the um, canister filter on it yesterday. Thank goodness I didn't have the troubles that I did before with the other canister. But this one's slightly different. It's a cascade. It's not the marine land. I put some grass in here, some mondo grass, around the boat. And so far they've already pulled up one plant. I was thinking about getting some of those blue marbles that I took out of the other aquarium that I recently redid. And putting them right down in here. And as they pull up these little grasses, I was thinking about planting them down in there seeing how that turned out. It was a suggestion. I think it would look really cool. Angelfish are doing good in this one. Apple snail is still getting big. I think it's grown about an inch since I put it in this aquarium. But overall, everybody in this aquarium is doing good, too. Oh, yeah, and also, we've got a red tetra to go with the yellow, green, blue, and purple tetra that we already had. Yes, these are the glow tetras. No, they don't glow very well. The yellow one, the orange one, and the red one glow, but the purple and blue do not glow. But there's an update on that aquarium. Everybody's doing good. The ballast sharks are no longer fighting slash mating. They're just swimming around normal. Let's go take a look at another aquarium.
Well, the 10 gallon is doing pretty good. I added some more moss and it's already started to grow. You can see the new growth all over it. That other piece of moss, I think, died. It wasn't getting as much sunlight. The plants are doing really good. The fish seem to be doing very well. And the newts are doing really good as well. Let's go look at another aquarium. Alright, here's Boss Man. He's a wool mouth perch. And I've got him in with about five crawdads. This one right here is a beast. Y'all want to see him eat? I picked up some goldfish and I've been quarantining them just so I could capture him eating to where y'all could see it because the mosquito fish blend in you can't really see them. So let me get him a fish and I'll let you guys watch him eat. Alright guys, I got a goldfish here. You better pay close attention because once I drop it in, he's going to get it. See how he's looking already? And there it goes. And check this out. Y'all see those sparkling pieces in the water? That are coming out of his gills? He is actually spitting out the goldfish scales. And that's what all those little shiny pieces around him are. That is so neat. The other day I was doing a gravel vac and I kept trying to figure out what was all these little shiny pieces that I was sucking up. And I gave him a goldfish and then I realized that it was the scales off of the goldfish. But there's Boss Man. And we're going to work on redoing his aquarium. This spring I was thinking about turning the, cra the crawdads back loose where I got them from. They keep this aquarium all tore up. And I collect me some more plants and redo the rocks and set Boss Man up a better enclosure because he likes to hide. And he doesn't so much mess with the plants like the crawdads do. But there you go. Just a cool little video of him eating. I thought it was pretty neat. And as soon as this weather gets warm again, I'm going to go back to netting and get all my tanks replenished back with wild caught feeder fish instead of store bought feeder fish because the store bought ones are not healthy. And you have to quarantine them, medicate them, and then fatten them up before you can even feed them to your fish. Alright everybody, here's a little update on my Bowfront Aquarium with my angelfish, my rainbow fish, and my quarry cats and bristlenose plecos. All the micro bubbles are gone. Doofus. And his new mate, I think we're going to call her Yeller. Um, they have been getting along well. They seem to have teamed up or paired up. And we're having a little bit of a bacterial bloom, which was to be expected because I completely 
drained out all the water out of this aquarium and took all the marbles out and added a new substrate but I just thought I'd give y'all an update my new angelfish and doofus seem to be getting along better than any other mate that I've tried to pair him up with and our rainbow fish doesn't seem to mind the new tank mate at all either he's swimming around happily he's got his real nice dark color to him with his bright red fins I don't know if you guys know it or not but when my rainbow shark gets stressed out he'll turn gray and have a jet black spot at the tip of his tail you can kinda see that spot now but when he's happy he turns black but I just wanted to give y'all an update since I added the new angelfish everything seems to be going good and in a couple days uh, I believe that this bacterial bloom will be cleared up and everything will be back to normal well everybody I sure hope you enjoyed that leave me a comment down in the comment section hit the thumbs up ring that notification bell so that you get upcoming videos and like always, guys, thanks for watching, and y'all have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye.